Well, happy Saturday, everyone. I'll tell you what, we had a very warm and humid afternoon across the area, and along with that, as expected, those pop-up showers and thunderstorms developing because of all of this uh, humidity that we have in the air. Now, as we look at live Super Doppler 4 HD this evening, you can see a lot of clouds kind of scattered across the area, but not much in the way of rainfall. We are tracking a few scattered showers trying to get going over northeast Georgia. Can't rule out an isolated shower or two passing through your neighborhood overnight as you sleep, and because of all of the uh, moisture that we have in the air, any type of one of those showers that develop could squeeze out some heavy rainfall as to go throughout the overnight hours. So just be aware of that. This upper low pressure system off to our west is helping to spin in plenty of deep moisture across the south, and that will continue to do so in the coming days. In fact, we'll start to tap into even more moisture as we go throughout the overnight hours. Look at the dew point, though. Right now here at after 11 o'clock, we've got dew points in the lower 70s in Pickens and Gaffney and Union. That is a very juicy air mass, folks. And so any little disturbance or shower that moves through taps into that air mass, and it produces some heavy Heavy rain in a short period of time. Case in point, earlier today at GSP at the International Airport, they actually had uh, about over two inches of rainfall in about an hour's time frame that fell there, and then they had some rain after that. So that just shows you just how juiced up the area is, and you bring something along, squeeze that moisture out, and oh yeah, you can get some torrential rain. Temperatures still in the 70s because the dew points are so high. That means that the overnight lows are not going to drop much tonight. So we'll basically settle on down in the upper 60s to right around 70. And then temperatures will start to warm up very quickly as we go throughout tomorrow. Now, we'll start the day with some morning low clouds. So that may slow down the development of those afternoon showers and storms as opposed to being about 1 or 2 o'clock. It may be more like 3, 4, or 5 o'clock in the afternoon. But I do expect to have a few more of those scattered showers and storms developing with the daytime heating, all of this humidity. There's no doubt about it. And look at this. This setup is going to continue to produce more tropical moisture because we've got this big Bermuda high that's stubborn off to our east, a big area of low pressure to our west, and the flow is just straight out of the Gulf of Mexico. And you can see it brings in that tropical moisture right across the area. So as far as our rain chances go, yeah, they're going to be in the medium category, I think, as we get into tomorrow afternoon with those pop-up showers and thunderstorms. And then as we get into next week, yeah, they're in the high range for most of the week. So you're going to want to make sure you keep that rain gear close by. And we've got all that deep moisture that's that's going to be streaming our way, and that means the potential of some heavy rainfall from time to time each afternoon. So we've got to watch this closely. Here's your four-day plus. Again, a pop-up shower storm on your Sunday. Better chances of those scattered showers and storms Monday through Thursday. We'll try to taper those rain chances off by the end of the week, but as we do that, those temperatures will begin to heat up as well. So quite warm across the area.